everyone welcome to another tutorial in this video i will tell you how to build a time tracking functionality in power automate right so i am the power auto i am in the power automate and i would like to create a excel file in onedrive first right so i'll go to onedrive and create a excel file first so i'll go to click on onedrive so to enter the time tracking things we have to first have a excel sheet in the onedrive first so that I can communicate uh, with the Excel file from the OneDrive. Let me create new and click on Excel workbook. And I will give a name to this Excel file. So I can click the title and rename this to Time Tracker. Okay. Now here I want to insert a table, right? So click on insert. Now before inserting table we can just specify some columns let's say uh, location and uh, time and some other functionality also we can do let's say uh, location time and comment right these three information I want to uh, I want to insert in this Excel sheet right so before that I have to insert as a table otherwise it will not work so click on insert and click on table and you can click on my table has headers so click on this and click on ok now it will represent as a table if you mark it here right now if you go to home you can check it is automatically saved right? If you click on table design you can specify the name of the table that you have specified let me give a table name as tbl uh, time track right it is auto saved now i will go to power automate and try to connect so click on create and create a new instant flow there, there, there are many different types of power automate you can create but I want to create an instant flow so that someone can manually click a button to uh, log the time tracking things right so click on manual trigger and give a name log time track and click on create as soon as you click on create the trigger is identified manually trigger a flow I want to add an input parameter so that someone whenever someone click the button uh, the user can give some comment right so give a comment here as an input parameter and in the new step i want to connect excel so if you, you can use excel online and here i want to add an action called as add row into a table right because whenever the user will click that button the excel will be connected and a new row will be inserted here okay I will also add another one called as uh, username who has inserted this so I'll use this edge user but we need to identify who has locked this and I'll go here and try to specify the location OneDrive for the business and document library edge OneDrive and the file I want to connect is time tracker dot xlsx next the table the table will be identified tbl time track and if you click on the show advanced it will give you location time and comment what about others the user is not available right so if the user is not available you have to disconnect let me delete this again connect if you change any column you have to do this so click on add a new row into table so the same thing onedrive for business then document library onedrive and the file as time tracker and the table tbl time track right now it is given here now i want to assign corresponding field values dynamically so location i want to track the location from the uh, user device so I can use here pool address and time was the time the timestamp I can use and the user the username I have or you can specify the email ID also if you want and the comment the comment is passed as a 
input parameter from the trigger right now once it is done the time timestamp is identified so the, uh, by default the timestamp is utc uh, timestamp so if you want to convert it you can convert it also let me add let me first do this click on save and test this so click on test click on manual test i will show you how this button will be available in uh, click on sign in how this button will be available in the mobile app so after test so it is it is asking to uh, use your location can you see that at the top left corner on the browser so click on allow you have to allow this so that the location details will be fetched now give a comment i just logged in okay click on run flow and click on done now the flow will run successfully by taking the information that we have used in the row creation i will go here in the time tracking uh, time tracker and i can see here right you can see the timestamp and the user and the comment everything is added here let me zoom it for you right so this is the location and this is the time and this is the user uh, username or email id and the comment but the time looks something you know uh, the for this is not well formatted so we can format it so I can go to run, edit it, and before that I can add another action. And I can take a variable or I can take convert date time. You see for date time uh, function we have a convert time zone. And the base time zone you can specify the time zone here, timestamp source time zone is utc so in the source time zone i have defined coordinatory universal time and in the definition uh, in the destination time zone i have used indian time zone right and the formal string i have used full date and time string long time right so this is the format i want to have this so i'll go here in the r new row and here in the timestamp i will use the converted time right so click on save and click on test so i can use manual and give a name i just signed out click on run and done now if you go here it will display another record here you can see here the time is well formatted now right so this is the current time uh, in my current location so this way you can keep tracking of your employees entry time or exit time or what, whatever assignment that you provide to the user or your employee you can <coughs> track it by this flow now how this flow will be available in the mobile application let me show you let me switch over to the uh, mobile app now you can see the mobile app here so this is my mobile app and uh, i'm just trying to log in the flow app to see my button here right so it is trying to log in now once it is logged in you have to click on the account and choose the correct environment let's say i'm choosing new dev which is my environment now if i'll go here to the buttons i will click the button you will see there is option log time track you can click the log time track and it will ask to provide a comment let's say i have logged in in my mobile right now click, click done once you click done the flow will call and the excel sheet will be updated i'll go to my uh, excel sheet to check can you see that this this record is updated now right the location and the timing and the user and the comment the point here is the beauty of the uh, button flow or instant flow will create a button and that button will be used by the users to click that button so that the flow will run immediately so this is how you can track employee timings 
when they will enter your office or exit their office and uh, you can capture the comment right this is how you can automate it thank you for your time i hope uh, it helped you in many way see you next time Thank you.